in this video, I'm going to show you guys the best and the worst products within the whole entire reptile hobby. Coming up. Welcome back to Northern Exotics. We're a reptile YouTube channel that talks all things reptile related, whether it be specific species care, breed your own live food, loads and loads of little reptile hacks that are gonna save you a fortune. If that's something you're very interested in, please consider subscribing. And while you're there, please hit that notification bell so that you get notified next time I do upload a video. In this video, we're gonna be talking through the two products, the best product of the entire reptile hobby, in my opinion, and the worst product, in my opinion, within the whole reptile hobby. Now, this isn't to do with bashing or anything like that. To be honest, the worst product, I don't even know why it's still a product and why it's still being bought and advertised right now. But we're gonna get into that throughout this video. So let's start off with the best product throughout the entire reptile hobby. In my opinion, again, I'm not sponsored by this. This is not to do with bashing or anything like that. This is just my personal opinion. If you guys have got any ideas on what is the worst and what is the best, stick it in the comment section down below. I'd love to expand this as a series or something like that. But in my opinion, I'm a fairly decent reptile hobbyist. I would say so. Some would say different wise. Some of the people in the comments would say different, as they always do. And while we're talking about the comments and all that sort of stuff, I just want to say a massive thank you to absolutely everybody who's involved with this ch with this channel. Everybody who's commenting, everybody who hits the thumbs up button, you're all absolutely amazing. We're coming up close to 3,000 subscribers now. That's just mind blowing. That is, I never once expected to get to that number, but now I am. And it's all thanks to you guys. You guys are all absolutely amazing. I appreciate you all. I've comment back to near enough every single comment down in the comment section. So go down there, stick a comment, and I'll reply to you. Even the people that comment negative comments, even they get a response. Now, all negative comments aren't negative comments. Some are taken as constructive criticism, all that sort of stuff. But it's amazing how many times they'll comment, you're this, you're that, and then I'll respond, thanks for your comment. I don't agree with you. Off we pop. And then the amount of times they respond, oh, sorry, my brother got hold of my laptop, or... My brother got hold of my phone and I didn't never expected you to re reply and it's amazing to see some of them. But hey, it is what it is. In my opinion, the very best product that everybody should have within the whole reptile hobby is this. It's cheap, it's cheerful, it's safety, it's absolutely amazing. Not it's fun as well. I mean, it really is fun. If you don't know what this is, this is an infrared temperature reader thermometer thingy my bob. It reads temperatures, you point it at the basking spots, it reads various temperatures, you can go the basking spot, the middle, the cold side, you can check absolutely any temperature with this, it's an infrared one as well, so it won't just pick up light and all that sort of stuff. The, the best thing about this is, it tells you, well look, let's run you through exactly what it does. I'll point it at my face, you can see the laser there, so it's got a laser just there, and that's, you can turn the laser off with that button just there. So you can see the laser on your face. Ah, you can't turn it off. Oh yeah, you can, there you go. Ha, you can turn it off, but not while you're pressing the button anyway. So I'm gonna keep the laser on just for this video. You can see the laser just there. Absolutely amazing piece of kit. You can use the laser for let, letting the dog and the cat chase the laser as well. That can be quite amusing. You can change it from I think it's that button there, the middle one, from Fahrenheit to centigrade Celsius, whatever it is. And look how quickly responsive it is. That's the temperature on my face. I'll turn it on to, there you go, 91 on my face. Move my face, it drops straight away down to the outside 67, which is the ambient temperature back there. Back again, back here. See, that's how quickly responsive this is. This doesn't pick up air temperature. So that's one thing. You can't check the ambient temperatures throughout your enclosures unless I do it when I've got like arboreal temperatures and I want a basking spot 
quite high up, I'll check the basking spot on a branch or something like that. Or if I want to check the middle, the ambient temperature in the middle of the enclosure, I'll point at like the background or again, a piece of furniture or ornaments or whatever that's in there that's in the middle of the enclosure. And then I'll go and check the cold side as well. It's absolutely perfect for that. But as I say, it doesn't check ambient temperature. It doesn't also go through glass. So you can't stand outside the glass and check it. You have to actually open the glass up to check the temperatures and stuff like that. It's got, you can see it's, yeah, it's lit up there. And I think it's that button would turn the light off on and off. It's just a little added feature. Now this is operated, I think it's dead cheap as well. It's only about 10 pound this product, 10 pound 99 or something. It's linked below in my Amazon store anyway. And you can take this cover off the battery and just a general nine volt battery. Lasts around about six months for me, but I overuse it because I've got so many enclosures and I love to torment people with the little laser and the animals and dogs and stuff like that. It's just a little bit of fun. The best product that everybody should have. It works on a 12 to one ratio. And what that means is, if you've got it 12 inches away from the surface, it will only radiate one inch worth of surface area. The further away you go, that obviously it will get a bit bigger. It's a 12 to one ratio. So if you're 24 inches away, it will read a two inch circle. Now, the further away you go, obviously the less accurate it becomes, the less quick and responsive it becomes, just simply because it's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of distance. I use the general rule of um, 12 inches away and I'll check all the temperatures from 12 inches away and then it's perfect for me. Now I have checked it with other temp thermometers and stuff like that and it generally is quite perfect. It doesn't need any calibration or anything. But yeah, that in my opinion is the best product um, for the reptile hobby. Let's move on to the worst. Now, I class myself as a fairly decent reptile keeper, a reptile hobbyist and so on and so on. So this product I generally don't have. So I'm just gonna have to do it sort of pointing up here and this is that and whatever. But this, in my opinion, is the worst product out there, calci sand. I still to this day do not know what calci sand is used for. Does anybody out there know of a good use for calci sand? Stick it in the comment section below because um, I still don't know. But I went to a chain pet store, a big supermarket pet store, yesterday. I wanted to pick up a basking bulb just because it was quick and easy. I needed it there and then, and it was there. So um, I saw this product and I thought, why is that still being sold? That's been known to be a deadly substance for years. Why is that still being sold? And it was being sold in a kit as well, a leopard gecko kit so you go to the shut shop you buy a leopard gecko and you can buy this entire kit with it an entire setup and all the stuff that goes in it and they do a discount over the whole thing and then um, why is it so let me explain why it's bad now calci sand sand in general on its own in a bearded dragon's enclosure or a leopard gecko's enclosure is diabolical it's bad they can eat the sand but yet they can't regurgitate the sand out of the mouth. Sometimes they can eat like a chunk of clay or dirt or something, and they can spit it back out and then only take in the bulb or something like that. They are quite talented, but with sand, they can't do that. Sand will go into their inge ingestion systems, <coughs> their intestines, and they, sand will get into the intestines and cause a blockage. If over time, they'll keep taking it in and taking it in and it will cause a blockage. And then it will cause something called impaction. Impaction is where it gets blocked. As simple as that. Now that requires surgery to actually rectify that issue. You don't want to put your animal through surgery. You don't want to end up with the costs of putting your animal through surgery. So the quickest way to do it is to eliminate the sand. Now back to the calci sand. Calci sand has got calcium inside it, hence calci sand. Now some species, especially leopard geckos, they sometimes have a little bottle lid or a little bowl of calcium within their enclosure, especially when breeding season comes around to help calcify the eggs. <clears throat> now, if the leopard gecko feels like it needs that little bit more calcium, it will go over to the little calcium dish and start licking up little bits of calcium. It just helps their bones, it helps their eggs, it helps their entire metabolism. And if you've got calci sand, it will start eating the calcium. The calci sand, it will just eat calcium sand. And what happens? Impaction blockages as you can tell i'm quite passionate about this this has been what seven minutes without actually stopping and ranting and stuff so yeah you can tell i'm passionate about that calci sand the animal will lick the calci sand it will cause a blockage your animal will die simple as that why is calci sand still a product 
Comment below and let me know if you know anything to do with this because I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm at a loss. I have no idea why this is even a project, product and why it is still being sold. But yeah, less of the ranting. Kelsey Sandy bad. Infrared temperature gun, absolutely perfect. In my eyes, the best tool you can have within the reptile hobby. It saves reptiles lives, it's fun to play with and it's cheap. Boom. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you've liked it, hit that thumbs up button. I really would appreciate it. Peace out.